Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer full tutorial series for absolute beginners. When you are building your automation on Puppeteer, chances are that you never run on one device or test against only one device. Usually, in practical scenario, at most uh, companies or enterprises, you would most likely run it against at least five to six different mobile devices. That includes both mobile as well as tablet devices. Hence, this tutorial. Today, we will learn how to simulate our automation script on 10 different mobile devices with one script. It All it would do is, it would simulate like an each device, go to that URL, take a screenshot, and save it for us. Let's go ahead, start the tutorial. If you haven't checked out the first 14 parts, please do so. We are in episode number 15, and today we are learning how to emulate 10 different mobile devices on the go. You will have continuity in your learning, and you can master it end to end with me. So what are the methods we are going to use today? We are going to use emulate, screenshot, maybe we'll throw in a PDF also. So let's get started and build that. The first thing we'll do is create a new file, episode15.js. All right, so now we have it. The first thing we do is import Puppeteer. And then I'm going to, now this is where, in the last episode, we learned how to um, create a device, right, using Puppeteer. So we'll use Puppeteer known devices. And in this, I'm going to select, say you are selecting iPhone 11, Right. And similarly, you can create any number of devices. You can throw in an array if you want. That's fine. But for now, I'm just blindly typing 7. I'll leave it at 7, but you, you got the idea that how to go about it. If you want 10, 20, whatever number you want, you can just put it here, Galaxy Note. I'm going to add just a few more. Just again, I don't want to waste your time your precious time in typing these things but to give you a learning so I'm going to use 12 to let me know what phone you have and what's your um, preference okay and uh, let's take Blackberry 2 right and so I'm trying to take different different use cases of um, uh, say landscape portrait etc so you you got now five devices six devices I started with zero okay so now what we can do is let's throw them all inside one array like this okay so I'm just pushing all of them into a array I'm building an array so that I can loop it so let's go ahead and write our async method now inside this what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new instance of browser and I'm going to create page equal to browser dot new page and now we can use a loop and just loop it and here we are going to do the same operation what we did earlier but with an exception that now we are going to do a emulation okay emulate so when you do emulate it will become that device and it will try to render it based on that okay so we are going to say go to and let's go to https yahoo.com and then you will let's do a screenshot on different devices how it would look right so here I'm putting screenshots and I'm giving an ID so I know that it's of unique so zero one two three four five six okay ideally you can take the name or you can take the date timestamp and do that operation also once you have done the for loop everything is good all we need to don't forget to close the browser okay that's all you need in order to run on as many devices as possible you can move all of this into separate code and make it more crisp but for now I'm just throwing them in an array okay all right <coughs> so let's go ahead and type node episode 15.js and let me open it in a headless mode so that i want to see the uh, outcome so i'm making it false and that's all basically you need so let's see 
we should now go oh, it's not doing anything because we did not execute it so this is required otherwise it will not execute it will just be a method okay let it launch so it launches on one device and closes and takes and it says no such file okay so path is a uh, screenshot slash png but it says 0 dot png there is no such png okay so what we will do is instead we are going to use this and directly let's try first okay we can do simple i plus png and see how this goes the idea is to generate a dynamic name for the uh, the files so one is good two is good three is good four is good five is good and they should close now the landscape portrait it tested very well and it generated all the f you can see here on different different mobile resolutions it created the screenshot for various modes right so six uh, screenshots we got because in the code we are looping it six times now if you want it 10 times add all the things that you want okay so that's the most easiest way the important piece is this that how do you loop that data and how do you go about emulating and just to use the method emulate and use the device and loop it multiple times it should get you that work done I hope it's clear uh, like I said again the code can be optimized better by adding an array of known devices and all but I will leave that to you the point my job is to give you a lead and show you how it's done but we can always uh, improvise on it in the next episode we will learn how to generate code coverage using puppeteer and that's a very interesting aspect especially which is run in pipelines bitbucket pipelines or you know your devops pipelines to generate and check the code coverage so join me in the next episode we will write that code and get the code coverage of few websites thank you so much for joining i hope you are learning i hope you are enjoying this series if you are hit that like button drop me a beautiful comment it will make my day thank you so much see you in the next episode